Hello everyone, if you are calculating the percentage of sales, profit, loss or determining the percentage grades and evaluate academic performance, then you know how important it is to learn calculating percentage in Excel. Here we can do this within a click. So this is Chihadrian Jim from Excel Demi and today we will learn several methods on how to create a formula in Excel to calculate percentage. Before going into the methods, let's talk about the data set a bit. Here we have the name of the products, purchased quantity and sold quantity in column B, C and D. Our target is to determine percentage of sales in column E by using the calculation of percentage. So without any further discussion, let's get started. In our first method, we want to use percentage formula to compare values. So at first we'll determine the percentage of sales and then compare the result values and determine which product has the maximum number of sales. At first we'll select the whole E column, go for the home tab and in the number section we'll select the percentage to determine the percentage of cells. After that, you'll go for the E5 cell and insert the sold values which is in the D5 cell and divide it by the purchase value which is in the C5 cell. If you click the enter button, then you'll get your perfect result in the E5 cell. Now drag down the formula to use it to every cell. So here you have got the percentage of cells in column E. Now let's determine which cell has the highest number of percentage. Here you can see the E12 cell that means the product papaya has the maximum number of percentage of cells. So that's how we can determine the percent formula to compare values and determine the perfect result. In our new method we have a certain case. Suppose we have bought the quantity of products from our data set and now we want to find out the percentage of the bought quantity of each product individually in the column D. So we can easily do that by using the calculate percentage from total number. At first, we'll select the whole D column and then go to home tab and in the number section select the percentage to get the result in percentage form. After that, we'll go to the D5 cell, insert the cell which is in this case C5 cell. After that, we'll divide it by the total number and to determine the total number, we'll use the sum function. So we'll write down the sum function here and select the total number of cells. And to make it permanent, we'll use F4 in the keyboard. Now click the enter button to get the perfect result here. Now drag down the formula to get result for each and every cell to get percentage from the total number. So that's the second method for you. Now in our new method, we want to determine the percentage formula based on condition. At first, we'll go for the single criteria and to do that, we have set the criteria here in the G4 cell. We have got the person name, product and cells in column B, C and D. Our target to use the percentage form and get the result according to the criteria. At first, we'll go to the G5 cell and insert the sum if function. The sum if function is used to add up the cells specified by a given criteria. So it has three parameters, range, criteria and sum range. At first, we have the range. As we are trying to determine the product of a certain value, so select the C5 to C15 cells as our range. After that, we'll go for the criteria, which is in this case in the G4 cell. After that, we'll go for the value of the sum range. Now, if it fulfills the criteria, then it will sum the values of the cells. So select the D5 to D15. But as we are trying to get the values in the percentage form, so I'll divide it by the total number. We'll use the sum function to add the value of the cells. So we'll select the D5 to D15 
and now click the enter button to get the perfect result here. So let's talk about the result here a bit. At first, we have selected the criteria avocado and so the formula determines and finds out the avocado cells in the column C. After that, it has found the avocado, it has gone for the result of the sum if and sum function. So we have got the perfect total result individually for the avocado. If we change the criteria, then we can get result for another cell also. Now we want to change the criteria here. So we'll go to the G4 cell and insert the pineapple as criteria. So we'll write down pineapple here and click the enter button. Then we'll get the result for the pineapple cells here. That's how we can usually use percentage for single criteria. Now, in our new method, we'll use the same formula like the previous one, but in this case, we want to go for multiple criteria. To do that, at first, we have set two criteria in G4 and G5 cells. Go for the G6 cell and insert the sum if function. The sum if function adds cells specified by a given set of conditions or criteria. As we are trying to get for multiple criteria, so we have used sum is function. Now, at first, we will select the cells sum range. So, we will select the D5 to D15. After that, we will select the criteria 1 range, which is the person name. So, we will select B5 to B15. As we have set our first criteria in the G4 cell, so we will select G4 as our first criteria. In the second criteria range, we will go for the product names which is from C5 to C15 and in our second criteria is in the G5 cell so select it and now we'll divide the value with the sum function to add all the total numbers so select the sum function and go for the sales value in the D5 to D15 now we'll click the enter button to get the perfect result let's talk about the result a bit here we have set Two conditions which is David and Avogadro. So the formula searches for the whole data set and finds out the David and Avogadro here go for the percentage form. So that's how your second method for percentage for multiple criteria works. In our new method we want to determine percentage difference between numbers and to do so we'll first go for the E column and in the home tab we'll go for the number section and select the percentage to make the whole column in percentage form after that we're trying to get the percentage difference between numbers so we'll go for the difference of the numbers at first so we'll select the retail price d5 minus the c5 and now we'll divide the value with the initial price which is the wholesale price if you click the enter button then you'll get your perfect percentage of profit now drag down the formula to use it to every cell so that's how you can easily use percentage difference between numbers to get the job done in our new method we want to use the percentage difference between numbers to get the result in the same column we'll go for the second cell of the D column in the change section of D6. Now we'll go for the change and to saw the change at first we'll go for the C6 and minus from the C5. After that we'll divide it by the initial value which is C5 of the January value. If you click the enter button then will get your perfect result. Now drag down the formula to use it to every cell. So that's how we can use percentage difference between numbers by using in the same column. Now we want to also set the remark to know whether our business is running into profit or loss in the long run progress. So to set the remark at first we'll go for the ECX cell and insert the if function to set a perfect condition for our case. As we are trying to determine loss or profit so we'll use the D6 cell and now the less than value and have the 0% here. So write down 0 in percentage form and after that if it fulfills the condition then it will show the loss option that means the business is in loss otherwise it will show the profit. So write down profit in the double quotation. 
Now, if we click the enter button, then get a perfect result in the easy Excel. Now, drag down the formula to use it to every cell. So that's how you can easily use our method. In our new method, we want to create a formula based on rank. At first, we'll go for the whole C column, then go to the home tab and in the ADX section, select sort and filter. Here, we want to sort the values from smallest to largest. So we'll select it and click on it. And now we have the sort warning. Select expand section here and click the sort to get your perfect sorting result in the data set. Now we'll go for the D5 cell and insert the percent rank dot inc function. So write down percent percent rank inc returns the rank of a value in a data set as a percentage value in the form of data set. After that, we'll go for the array section. We'll go for the C5 to C16 and to make it permanent, we'll use F4 in the keyboard. After that, we'll use X function, which is in this case, the C5 cell. If we click the enter button, we'll get your perfect result in the first cell. Now, drag down the formula to use it to every cell. So that's how you can easily use percentage form based on ranks. In our new method, we have sales growth percentage for several years and we want to get the result in the average growth of the total business. So I'll go to the D5 cell and insert the average function to average the value. At first, we'll go for the cell values, which is in this case C5 to C11. Now we'll click the enter button to get the perfect result by using the average function. So that's how you can easily go for the average growth by using the percentage of average function. We'll show you several practical examples to use percentages in Excel formula. Here we have the product names, price, excluding VAT. Here is the VAT and now we are trying to get the price including the VAT. So at first we'll go for the e5 cell and insert the c5 cell value and now we'll again insert the c5 value and multiply the fixed value of the vat within it and to make it permanent we'll use f4 in the keyboard now if you click the enter button then will get your perfect price including the vat drag down the formula to use it to every cell so that's how you can easily use add a percentage formula in Excel. In our second example, we want to calculate total amount from the percentage. Here we have the product, cells and percentage amount in the B5, C5 and D5 cell. Our target is to get the total amount from percentage in the E5 cell. So we'll insert the C5 value as it is the total sales price and now we'll divide it by the percentile form. If you click the enter button, they'll get your perfect result in the E5 cell. So that's second example for you. To determine a specific amount from the percentage and total amount, we can consider the list with some products stayed below. And we have the percentage amount and total sales in column C and D. Our target is to get the sales here. At first, we'll go for the fixed value which is in this case total cells and to make it permanent we'll use F4 in the keyboard. Now we'll multiply the values within it. So we'll select the C5 along with it and click the enter button to get the specific amount in the E5 cell. Now drag down the formula to use it to every cell and get a specific amount from every cell. Now, I want to show you the process of percentage with structured reference in case of Excel. At first, we'll select the whole data set by using Ctrl plus A in the keyboard. Press Ctrl plus T to convert it into a table. If everything is selected correctly, then tick on Table has headers option. Click OK to convert it as a table. After that, We'll go for the profit to determine the perfect structured reference here. Now, go for the E5 cell and insert the first value, which is the retail value, and minus 
and wholesale function to get the change from the retail and the wholesale. After that, divide the whole change by using the wholesale and press the enter button to get the perfect result in the if column. So that's how you can easily use percentage with structured events to get the perfect result. In our new method, we have product price including VAT, VAT and including VAT of price. At first, our target is to increase the value of excluding VAT to including VAT. So at first, we'll go for the E5 cell and insert the percentage after including the percentage amount. So we'll add 5% VAT with it. So we'll write down 105 as our new percentage and click the enter button. Now use the same reference for the every cell for the whole column. Now go for the price excluding VAT and select the cells you want to copy. And now you can press Ctrl plus C in the keyboard. Go for the E column, select the whole column and in the home tab select the paste special. If you select the paste special then paste special dialog box will open here. Select all in the paste section and the operation will be multiplied. After that click OK to get the perfect values including that here in the E column. So that's how you can easily increase or decrease an entire column by a percentage without the formula in Excel. So that's it for today. You can use any of these methods accordingly or you can download the practice one book from the link below. Hope this will help you. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section or you can have a glance at excelemy.com. Thanks for watching us. If you like this video, please consider subscribing for more content like this.